How's it going everyone? This is Amask and I'm back on Pokemon Revolution Online and today I'm going to try a new boss team. Not try actually, I'm going to show you how to use this team which is called Smeagol Baton Pass or either Pangoro Baton Pass. It's really good and it's been people have been using this a lot lately in the pro and it's really fast better than faster than the mega banet using mega banet and five other pokemons and better than put it bait on pass so let's see what we have here uh, by the way thanks to my friend shuro for lending me these pokemons i don't have this team yet i'm trying to make i'm trying to hunt these pokemon but haven't gotten lucky yet so yeah so moving on we first have a Whimsicott, which is the lead for this team, which is Prankster with nature and IVs doesn't matter, EVs doesn't matter. It's fine if you EV train it max HP and split defenses or either defense max, whatever. Moves are uh, Cotton Spore, Switch through and Momento. Flash doesn't matter really. And item is lagging here. So what you do is you lead with it. And if the opposing Pokemon, for example, is a banded Dragonite, you switch to it and give it lagging tail. What lagging tail does is it halves. I think it halves or I don't know if it halves or what what the percentage is, but but it slows the opposing Pokemon. It slows the Pokemon who is holding the this item called lagging tail. So because we are prankster, so we will always move first due to switch. We will always move first using switch to so we give them lagging tail they will become slower and if you survive any move you can either cotton spore if you think the opposing pokemon is very fast you can cut off spore to lower their speed more or you can just momento to die and lower their attack and special attack the whimsicott does that if the opposing pokemon is a mega pokemon so we can't switch to it because mega stones cannot be switched so we that's why we use cotton spore to lower their speed if you survive one move you can cotton spore again or you can momento it's fine right usually all pokemon does get lowered does it's fine to just either switch to or cotton spore once on every pokemon but i guess some pokemon is like a speed would boost shady ninja or whatever then you might have to i guess then then the second pokemon which comes in is a smeagol it is timid max speed and max hp with sash uh preferable you just have to you just need a uh, uh, high speed start for this uh, uh, plus speed nature either it can be hasty hasty timid whatever jolly and max I prefer max speed IVs or at least plus 28 I should say and you keep it max EVs in the speed and max you just increase the HP it doesn't really matter you just increase the HP for substitutes you know the so moves are substitute disable share smash and baton pass and we are sad so what you do is after you have lowered the opposing pokemon's speed and you bring smeagol safely you substitute while the opposing pokemon is uh, attacking it's like it's like bannet it's just instead of protect you have to substitute because of the status move some pokemon use dragon now so some pokemon use sleep out or whatever so you go behind substitute and so it doesn't care be the case like bannet where you have to work around like sleep like four users if he uses spore on your protect then you can disable his spore otherwise he'll attack you that's why substitute is better so that status move fails and you will have a chance to disable its move till he breaks your substitute so for example if he he's just breaking your substitute turn one you substitute he breaks it you disable its move you spam shell smash and you disable it again and you get you spam shell smash thrice and get behind substitute and then baton pass to pangoro while your while the opposing pokemon's move is disabled that is very crucial you have to disable the opposing pokemon's move at all times except the case where the po pokemon uses a 5 pp move like kiram's like second guardian's kiram he uses blizzard so what you have to do is substitute turn one he will break your substitute then you disable it and then you shell smash twice and bait on pass because you can disable it after five turns that's why you can only shell smash twice against a pokemon which is using 5 pp move then you wait and pass to pangoro and then and then you just uh, it is mold breaker adamant with max attack max speed you need that adamant is to increase power mold breaker is to break through abilities like unaware which is very and sturdy which is very crucial and the moves are power rip and storm drone other moves doesn't really storm throw uh, 
other moves doesn't really matter main moves are power trip and as you just need a stab move so we're using storm throw because it is a crit so that's good i guess so and we are sashed, sashed to survive like priorities or if maybe our other pokemon is sashed so he won't die and we will survive too so it is just that baton pass and then you just spam power trip on everything power trip works like a stored power so its power increases the how according to how many start changes do you have for example if you have like plus two attack then power trips power will get raised from 20 to 60 so if so in case of shell smash for example if you have three shell smashes then your special attack and attack is plus six so pangoro's power trips move power is uh, I think its highest is 200 so I think the power will be 200 it doesn't get above 200 how many start changes do you have so I think it is going to be 200 am I right or am I wrong yeah it will be at 200 so yeah that's how it works and you just keep storm drain throw for opposing dark types because it's not very effective on it doesn't really matter much power trip will always kill but yeah you know you know storm throw is better because it's super effective yeah this is the team here aerodactyl is not much of use i guess we can use it after whimsicott to if against pokemon who are sashed or if you don't want to lose pangoro sash you can just use it to that's rock but it's it's i would should i would say not to because then if the opposing pokemon uses some move which is 5 pp then you'll have a hard time with smeagol for example i tried that against george and george's uh rk9 uses close combat on aerodactyl and close combat on smeagol which is a 5 pp move so it used like two close combats on aerodactyl to kill it that and that literally fucked me up and i lost that game because i wasn't able to disable its move so yeah i prefer not to use it you can use any other pokemon if you don't want stealth rock like Gengar or anything and the other two is Mega Bennett and Sharpedo which are just backup plan if if for some reason you just misclick or anything you lose your Pangoro or Smeagol then Bennett and Sharpedo are backup plan Sharpedo just can take any Pokemon with Destiny Wand and Bennett can sometimes sweep you can use another one again instead of Aerodactyl like Wobbuffet or Gengar it's fine so yeah this I explained the team now I'm going to show you how to use it against both mega users and non mega users so let's go battle link first it is spectify or link here i don't know i think it's spectify yeah spectify so spectify uses mega salamon so we'll i'll show you how to use cotton spore because we can't switch to lagging tail to it right so let's just get into battle oh before that i forgot i forgot i forgot let me show you the team of as I always do, team of uh, Spectify. Uh, let's go to boss's site and here is Spectify. I told you already he uses Mega Salamence as his lead. So we can switch to it. We'll have to button spore. Then comes uh, Meganium, which doesn't really matter. He does have Dragon Tail, but getting being behind Substitute, we won't get switched out in dragon tail so that's good then fat alligator is just four attacks or uh, three attacks so doesn't really matter typhlosion doesn't matter at all and abrion and espion doesn't matter either actually in this team it doesn't really matter what pokemon you have unless something is sashed or you want to use stealth rocks because you just bait on past pangoro and then kill everything only thing you have to look for is the first pokemon if it's mega or not and if some pokemon is sashed or not or a 5 pp pokemon like if for example if mega salamence uses fire blast i don't think it will it will pro no yeah mega salamence will use fire blast on whimsicott but it won't use fire blast on uh Smeagol, so it's fine so yeah it's just a uh, bit on pass to pangoro and then you can sweep so let's just get started i want to battle hard yes boss and 
Ah, I forgot to change the skin. See, here it is. The, I just started the battle. Didn't click anything. So here is. So we are going to Cotton Spore as the Salamence is Mega. Ask me. I think I'll die. It's fine. It should be slower than my Smeagol now. I can just substitute. It is so great. As he clicks double edge. Now we are going to disable it. Double edge. Double edge is not a fight to remove, so it's fine. We can catch our shell smashes three times. No longer disable, I can disable it again. We click three shell smashes, so now let's get behind substitute and just we don't pass to Pangoro. We don't pass transfers all your start changes and substitute too. Now we can just power trip to kill this elements and kill all, everything because the opposing Pokemon doesn't have Sash. As this Umbreon is a dark type, so we can use Stormthrow. Power trip would have killed too, I'm pretty sure, but Stormthrow is fine. As it's super effective. See, it like took like only two minutes, that's why it's so good. Maybe, because of this team, maybe I'll start playing bosses, uh, I'll take anything later. I'll start playing bosses every week because this this team makes it so fast. I kinda used to see it as a pain using Puret even at the time of Puret Beton Pass and even Bennett team. I really hated that. When there was, when we were able to use 5 Shafitos and Warbuffet, then I, I used to do to all boss, bosses because it was very fast too. But here I am in Twin Leaf Town House 2 and we are going to battle Link which uses a normal Pokemon with a normal item. Let's look at its team. Uh, here. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Link, 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 Link. He uses a uh, Hippodon and it's leftover, so we can switch to it. Then comes the Easy Slash, Not Sash, Not Sash, Heatran. This is Sturdy, but we are Mold Breaker, so we break that. Same goes with Skarmory, we break the Sturdy, and this is Not Sash. So this is going to be an easy, easy Pangoro sweep. So let's just do it. Uh, we are going to switch to give it lagging tail. We survive and move, so we can momento as Hippodon is not a fast Pokemon, so we don't need to cut a score again or anything. We go Nagel. We click substitute. He's clicking us quick, which is not a 5 PP move, so it's fine for us. We can disable it. And should be over now, yep. And let's just shell smash three times and then disable it again. And substitute and wait and pass. We did shell smash thrice. That's quick, it's not disabled anymore, so we are going to disable it again. And we can get behind substitute. And we can pass to Pangoro. Here, we can just power trip. And this should be a sweep. And this is GG. Pretty easy. It took like two to three minutes and the revival hops. Yeah. Let's go back to the Poké Center by Escape Rope. And yeah, this is it. I'm going to end the video here. I'll upload a boss run, boss runs of every region once my cooldown is over on Monday and my Kanto bosses are on cooldown, so I'm going to start with Johto run. 
I'm going to do all bosses of Johto in one video. I'm, I'm going to upload, upload that so if you can see how to deal with every boss. It's pretty easy and it works on every boss except two. I, in my knowledge, I have got to know only two. I haven't tried it using an, on all bosses and I got to know two from my friend which are Ash Westbrook and Laurelly on which you might not want to use this team because Ash Westbrook's first two Pokemon which is Dialga and I think Reshiram or it's something else but one is Dialga and both of them uses Roar which works behind even if we are behind substitute that and that is very bad that's why you better use Mega Bennett team there and against La Laurelly uh, the thing is that first of all it is uh, wait a sec against Laurely. Ah, yes, he uses a 5 pp move Blizzard, and the Laurely's item is Icy Rock. So, Gale turns expands from 5 to 8. So, what happens is you go Whimsicott, you, you it will take like one turn, he will get. Uh, Ninetales will kill you in one Blizzard, but you lower its speed by lagging tail, then you go Smeagol. Now you have seven turns of hail left and you can only you can only disable its blizzard and shell smash twice and wait on pass because otherwise the disable will fail so that's why hail turns still remain and your pangolo sash gets broken against laurelly that's and the next pokemon which is alone in sand slash is sashed so you will survive your one move and will kill your pangolo that's why you better use mega banner team which is really easy to deal with laurelly and yeah that is it i and i think all other bosses can be dealt with using this team and it is very 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 fast so yeah yeah thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video like it subscribe the channel if you enjoy the content and if you have any suggestions you can tell me in the comments and if you have any different team a boss team which you use you can and you can share them with us and i'll see you all next time goodbye